Hello everyone and welcome to another virtual pet unboxing video. This time we're going to be unboxing and taking a look at the newly released Tamagotchi Picks. And this is the Wave 2. So the Wave 1 came out with a pink and purple shell last year, late last year, and I kind of slept on the Tamagotchi Picks and I didn't get around to getting it. But with this gorgeous blue shell that we get in Wave 2, I absolutely had to get it. The other colour for the Wave 2 is the uh, is a green colour. Is there a picture of it? Yes, there's the green, which is Wave 2. There's the pink, which is Wave 1, and the purple that is also Wave 1. So what I'm noticing here is, as I said, I don't, didn't get the Wave 1, but I did see the packaging for it, and I feel like this one's a little less full of pictures of children. Like, I know that the Wave 1 had, like, a picture of a kid with a Tamagotchi there, and it was a very young kid. So this one makes me feel a little bit awkward as being an adult getting this virtual pet. So I was surprised that we got this released in Australia, actually, because we didn't get the Tamagotchi Friends, we didn't get the Tamagotchi... I'm trying to remember the meats... the Tamagotchi On... And uh, yeah, so I was surprised that we actually got this, but we did, so that's exciting. And it's kind of like got a camera on it, so you can take pictures of things, and I, I guess that uh, you can use them. Like, you can cook things by taking pictures of the food and then combining them, but I'm assuming it's actually just you take a picture of something red, something yellow, and it makes something that's red and yellow, which is kind of cool. So let's unbox this, and I just realised that I thought I got all the plastic bits of tape off, but apparently I did not. So yeah, I'm not really sure what to expect with this. I don't know why the box is this size. There's the Tamagotchi. Here is a box. I don't know why they didn't just put the Tamagotchi inside the box part, uh, but no, it's up in the air for some reason. Uh, so I have no idea what is uh, in this box. Is it just an empty box? Oh, this is really terribly packaged. Like, I... Why is there so much box? It doesn't make sense that there's this much box for a fairly small amount of Tamagotchi. And that's something that I've noticed in a lot of the Western releases. Like, I ended up importing the Tamagotchi on, and the box is just massive. I just, I just don't understand. I mean, I guess you have to put the manual somewhere, but... I'm noticing more manuals are online, and there's a big bit of cardboard that is just a big bit of cardboard. And here's our manual, which, I don't know, I, I, I would have, like, that feels like it, it, it could fit if you just made this less rounded. But uh, yeah, I have no idea why it's, uh... yeah, they could not have made it harder to open. I'm going to be real with you. And I've, no, my scissors are right here. So, yeah, first of all, the unboxing experience isn't a particularly fun one for the Tamagotchi picks, uh, because the box is a million times bigger than it needs to be. Like, it just, okay, just sort of tumbles off there. There we go. And then we have a completely empty box. Uh, so I guess if you like boxes, yay for you. You get boxes and stuff. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's, let's take this out. And I am just realising that it doesn't include batteries, and I am terribly unorganised, and I didn't actually put batteries, and well, that's kind of cool. So that is, I guess, to get the photos taken, and these buttons are actually fake buttons, they're touch ones. So I'm going to go get some batteries. And I have my batteries, and I got a screwdriver, because of course the uh, English releases don't have the cool little push button that the Japanese releases have. So let's pop in these batteries and good, I have batteries that have charge on them. So it actually has like a double kind of thing. They've got one screw here and then it's got the push button. So it's kind of got both the push button and the screw which kind of makes it an awkward, uh, kind of have to like wiggle it in there which is a little bit weird. And then we screw that up. All right, so I'm assuming that this will be...
Okay, so that's the select button. Oh, okay, it's very sensitive. It's also just... I'm not I'm barely touching it, so I'm, I'm actually kind of impressed with that. Like, it feels like you can just touch below it, which is interesting. So you don't actually have to touch near the button. So I kind of like... I kind of enjoy that. Uh, is it going to be... It's going to be US state form. Yes, it is. And it is the 10th. And my nickname is... Oop, nope. No, I've... Okay, oh, okay. Now I, now I understand. Yeah, it's been a while since I've actually run a Tamagotchi in English. I don't even think that... What did I do there? I think I accidentally put my finger too close to that button, so I've got to make sure I don't uh, touch another button by mistake, because these buttons are fairly sensitive. Yeah, I'm not even touching the button, so that's kind of... That, that's an interesting way. I was kind of thinking that they would be, uh, like, hard to press. Like, you have to hold it in a certain for a certain amount of time, like the Tamagotchi Smart. But, no, it's very, it's very sensitive, which I guess could be a good and a bad thing. I mean, if it was in my pocket, does that mean it's going to be activated? Now, if I just... Is there, like, a end that I can select, or do I have to just go to the end? Really? Sure? Jeez, okay. That that sounds really aggressive. Take a photo of yourself. Okay. Uh, that's awkward, uh, because there's no screen here. So... I guess if I do this, far too close to the screen. No, that's not a good, I, I selected yes. Can I go back? Oh no, I can't. <laughs> Favorite food, are any of these food or are they just dessert? Okay, those are all just desserts. Uh, okay, oh, I keep on, okay, now I realize how I'm stuffing up because this one is the, okay, I've just, no. Yeah, I keep on pressing the wrong... Favourite tool? Um... Sure, why not? Cloud. I wish they would let me uh, take my photo again because it is just far too zoomed in. Which, that's kind of weird because it's got like a little outline to try to fit your face in but you can't actually see the screen because the camera's on the back. There's no front-facing camera. So are you meant to get somebody to take it, a photo of it for you? Which, again, makes me kind of like feel a little... It makes me feel a little bit awkward that I'm an adult and I think that it's meant to say, oh, well, the kid's starting this up. They'll probably just be with their parents and their parents can help them set that up. Which is really awkward. Like, uh, I want to take a photo of me but I can't. Like, I feel like it'd be cool if there was, like, a little camera there. But, uh, yeah, so cute little room that I'm in, and I, as usual, as expected, I can't really do much while it's hatching as an egg. But, uh, yeah, there's, geez, there's so much packaging. Uh, that's just so incredibly weird. Like, at least it flat packs fairly easy. I'm just gonna make some space while that hatches. But, uh, yeah, so, yep, there's uh, the manual, and it's in oh, French, I think. Yeah, it's English and French. I don't know French at all. Do they have the French first and then the English? Oh, no, the English is on the, other, up the upside down part. Or, I guess, the right side up part. So, yeah, the manual's, I guess, quite attribute quiz. Oh, it's a quiz on which egg you get the first. That's kind of cool. And have someone take a picture of you. But I can't do that because I, I can't. Well, I guess I I don't I don't know. If, I I took a photo of something when I picked that up. Okay, so you can take a photo of the screen at any time, I guess, like a screenshot. 
That's kind of cool. So whatever in the attribute quiz that I just did, I got the pink and blue egg. I know that Jinjirachi is in this, which is probably the main reason I got it, because I love him. He's probably my favourite character. Oh, cute. I think that's a girl. So no Jinjirachi in this wave. That looks like a V. Alright, so... How do I... Am I going to have to read the instruction manual? Okay, whatever I just did just then, I opened up this. Okay, now I feel like the buttons aren't as sensitive as they could be. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but the buttons just don't want to... Is it, is it a touch screen? No. Okay. Do I need to actually read the instruction manual? How do I... I know how to enter the letters. I just need to know how to feed it. Let's see here. This is a very complicated little device. Okay, let's go. Status, yes. Feed. Food or snack when happy level drops. Okay. Uh... Scroll through with A, select with B, and swipe left and right to turn page over the A and B. I feel like this is just what I was doing before. Do I have to hold it down like on the smart now? I know you're calling out for me, little friend. And are we sure it's not a touchscreen? Guess not. Okay, we worked out how to get to the clock. Yeah, okay, I take back what I said about the button controls. Uh, I'm not sure if they just make the button controls easy when you put in your name and then immediately make them less sensitive, which I guess asks my question about what if it's in your pocket, which is just they just turn down the sensitivity and... I'm trying with my nail. I'm trying all my different... Uh... Yeah, this is really annoying. I, I want to say that uh, this the controls went from... Like, oh yeah, I guess that, you know, they're a bit different, but... Yeah, that they went from, like, I could touch down here to press a button... And now I can't even... Yeah, these are... these controls are weird. So yeah, gotta say, uh, first impressions. Not a big fan of the, uh, the buttons. Uh, yeah, I can't imagine enjoying this as a kid. Because I'm now stuck on the clock screen, and I'm not sure if that just means that I'm, I'm too old. But, uh, yeah, this is terrible. Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm not a big fan of these buttons. Yeah, they're not even responding anymore. That's kind of a shame. I don't know why they went with the touch buttons instead of actual legitimate buttons. Because the thing is... I don't know if I'm pressing them wrong, or if I have to hold them down, or how to actually get them to activate the button functionality, but when they're actual real physical buttons, I can press them. Okay, I'm apparently doing it right now, but I'm just... Okay, so I swipe to get away from the clock. Okay, so swiping gets to the clock. I understand that. Of 
Okay, I don't know how I got to this screen because I'm fairly certain that I pressed the selecting one. Okay, now it wants to work. Okay, and the cancel button does not want to work at all. Maybe it's because my fingers are too big. Maybe it's not made for adult fingers. I mean, at least the swiping works to get to the clock. That, that works pretty well. And I've somehow selected it again. Yeah, I think it must be because my fingers are too big. Yeah, that's, uh, you got to say, first impressions, not exactly a big fan of the buttons, unless I'm completely doing it wrong, and if so, let me know in the, in the, in the comments about how I can not be terrible at this. So type, type A button on home, garden or character room screens to open the care icon screen. A selects through the care icons, which I did press A before, but it thought I pressed B. And I don't have particularly large fingers. I think I have fairly normal sized fingers. But I guess, yeah, so we'll press A on the home screen, which is what that is. Okay, so it's like a quick press. I don't know how it wasn't working before because I was trying that. Yeah, okay, I'm not a big fan of that. You kind of have to, like, really quickly, like, lightly press it, like, a, like barely even make contact with it, and then move away quickly. Which, I don't know if they try to do that, so, as I said, if it's in your pocket, so it doesn't click, but I feel like the lighter touch would activate more in my pocket than uh, a, a, a more solid touch, which is what the Tamagotchi Smart goes for in their menus, that you have to kind of, like, hold it and release. You hold it for like maybe a second or half a second and then yeah, it, it, you, you press the button in that way. And that only has one button. It's a real button, but mostly it uses the touch. Which again is kind of finicky because it's like a hold. But it makes more sense because it's touch screen and if it's in your pocket, you don't want it to consistently press buttons and wake it up and waste the battery. And that's something I have heard about the Tamagotchi picks is that the batteries don't last particularly long and whether that is because of the camera or because of the the fact that it's got a touchscreen and it might com consistently wake up in your pocket. I don't know. Well, not touchscreen, but touch buttons. But now I seem to be getting the... Uh, so it doesn't let me play because it's a baby. Doesn't need to go to the toilet yet. See, it seems, uh, so if I swipe this way, it goes outside? No, it goes to the clock. Maybe I can't, okay, I guess I can't go outside because it's a... Uh... Yeah, I just want to double check that because that does seem kind of cool that you can go into different rooms and, like, the Tamagotchi Smart kind of has that. Uh, so, living room, home screen, swipe left and right, go to the garden screen... So, yeah, okay, you, and then you never get around to the clock screen. So I've left and right, so I guess that's why, because it's a baby and it doesn't do anything else besides go to the clock. So, yeah, it's, um, yeah, so for future reference, if you don't have the Tamagotchi picks, it's a light press, very quick light press to use it. So it's the opposite of the Tamagotchi Smart. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's also heavy and chonky. Like, it's uh, the same size as all the other colour Tamagotchis, except for the Tamagotchi Smart, which is more the size of a Tamagotchi Connection. So, yeah, just a quick little video. Well, I guess it's 20 minutes, so that's not exactly quick, because it was mainly me struggling to use buttons. But, uh, yeah, so that was the Tamagotchi Pix Wave 2. I know that there is a second version of the Tamagotchi Pix. I think it's called, like, Party or something. I don't know. But that's coming out in a few months, so that's exciting. And my Tamagotchi is sick, so it wants me to do that, apparently. That's kind of cool. So whenever I get sick, I cover it up, which seems like I'm smothering it. Like, yeah, Tamagotchi, 
die. I don't know. That's weird. But that's kind of cool. Like, instead of going to the medicine menu, all you have to do is cover it up. Again, if it's in your pocket, uh, I, I feel like that's a weird thing if it's in the pocket. Well, let's take a photo. Outside or inside, what does that mean? I can't go outside? No, I can go outside. Okay, it means like, so let's take a photo of the Digimon. The quality of the camera is not incredible, but I didn't expect it to be. Okay, it just takes photos. And inside means inside, right. So outside means here, and inside means in the actual thing. Don't have access to phone. I do have access to connect, but I don't have another Pix. No, uh, yeah, Pix. I was about to say, is that the right name? Yeah, it is. See, I've got the usual options that I'd expect. A little rattle because it's a baby. But yeah, so kind of cute. Uh, I wonder how the photo taking functionality goes in as it's an older Tamagotchi character. But uh, yeah, so that was the Tamagotchi picks, and I'm glad you were here to watch me struggle. Let me know what you thought. Tell me how silly I am in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And I will see you on the next one. Bye!